green, Bertha. <laughs> What's up guys, Rich Superbash out in the shop again with my Traxxas X-Max 8S. This rig's been an absolute blast so far, definitely digging Green Bertha. Was just about to take off for another run guys, it's been raining, it's only about 50 degrees out, we'll see how that goes. Right in the midst of basically testing the M2C pistons, the O-ring style Delrin. A couple things that kept me from buying this truck years ago was the center drive shaft on it likes to bend super easy if you do big airs. And also the suspension. Out of the box, the X-Max is definitely kind of a bouncy, floppy monster truck. My last bash testing their O-ring style Delrin pistons went great. So my last bash, the piston hole in the rear was 1.3 millimeter. For today, I went ahead and I drilled these out, 1.35. Doesn't sound like much, but it actually makes a noticeable difference here in compliance. Again, our goal with the test team, just for simplicity's sake, is to basically tune the pistons to work best with a stock 30 weight that comes with the truck. You'll notice the rebound with full compression, guys. It's nice and slow. Basically, this takes that nasty bounce off when you're coming down from jumps. Also improves the handling around corners. There's no question. The truck feels far more stable with these pistons. Fortunately, the truck held up awesome my last bash. I'm still using the M2C Racing sliding motor mount. This thing's awesome. It adjusts super simple. You can pull the motor straight out and get your mesh set from the sides. Here's a shot of one of my stock drive shafts. I actually tried to hammer and bend this thing back straight, but I put a big flat spot in it. Unfortunately, it just never makes engineering sense to put a solid, non-flexible shaft in a truck that wants to flex so much as the plastic X-Max. Here's a shot at the ultimate solution right here, guys. This is a prototype I just got from M2C Racing, but you'll notice the detail, the genius, and the absolutely perfect fitment with this right here. What we have here is a 7075 center block that's got little bearing slots perfectly machined to go ahead and hold this barrel. We have CVDs on both sides, obviously held in place with a bearing, and then we have dog bones for both ends. Avery designed these perfectly splined cups for each end of the truck. You have the male end here, and we have the female end for the other side. You can clearly see this will afford all kinds of movement at the drive shafts, and then you've got that extra spacing at the ends on the cups just in case. So I'm going to try and do this one-handed, but essentially this barrel lifts right out. There's your base right there. These bearings basically will fall out to the sides, and then you just let your pins drop, and you've got your barrel and your set pin here. So simple CVD design, guys, but absolutely genius. So the centerpiece that holds the barrel and the bearings in place and your CVDs together, this drops straight into the truck. Props to Avery for hollowing this out to make it as light as possible. He went ahead and machined the depth of this and the height with the bearings to basically fit perfectly and trap everything in once you put the skid plate on without any modification. You'll notice on the center barrel there's a little rib that essentially traps the bearing. Once you assemble the CVD, the bearing just locks it in from both directions. Again, guys, assembly on this is super simple. You'll see I've got my bearing in on one side, and there's the set pin that I've already put through the barrel. Again, these splines mate perfectly with the stock shafts in the truck. All you have to do is slide these directly in and then go ahead and feed in your dog bones. So these shafts I'm going to start the testing with are actually T6 7075. I've already tested these in my road builds, and they've done surprisingly well. However, they're a whole lot lighter than the X-Max. We'll just see if these will hold up, they'll be perfect for weight savings. Otherwise, we'll just use the standard hardened steel shafts. Huge hats off to Avery Looper with M2C Racing. This is an absolutely ingenious design. Super simple to assemble, direct fit, requires no modification to the truck whatsoever. There's no question in my mind this is going to be the ultimate X-Max upgrade right here. All right, guys, enough babbling. I need to get out and bash before it's too late. Thank goodness for Mitch and Avery Looper with M2C Racing. Oop, a little too much. Definitely feels a lot more planted, guys, with the pistons.
we got to put a real test on these pistons, guys. Oh, Green Bertha. <laughs> Nothing else that'll make an excellent drive shaft test, guys. So, unfortunately, I think my rear gears have about had it. Oh my gosh, that was like butter, guys. <laughs> I almost hung up. Right, guys I don't know if you can hear that like kind of little transmission issue I noticed that on the basically I did like a shakedown in my front yard just to make sure the alloy shafts could hang they did fine unfortunately I was hearing a sound I don't hear anything in reverse but in forward I'm getting this like real low speed lockup so I need to go through my rear gears again again I've had the whole rear of the truck apart two different times my gears looked absolutely perfect get all the bearings set and everything where it's supposed to be so I'm not sure what's going on. I'll definitely need to investigate because at low speed, there's definitely a little bit of cogging. So I'll take the rear shaft out, make sure everything looks good. Another huge shout out to M2C Racing. I think this is going to be the ultimate upgrade for this platform. All right, guys, until next time. Bye.